We got the camel back home um, and I've sort of got it scattered all around the house. The fuselage is sitting here just covered. The whole thing was absolute disaster area to be honest. It was just been left out in a shed in an absolute disgrace. It was full of rodent shit and covered in spiders and sitting just on damp ground so all the covering was ruined. The fuselage itself, it's one of the aluminium gusset style ones but um, I won't bore you with too many of the details. It's not too bad, you know, the riveting job on these stuff is passable. But some of it is is just, I just don't understand what's going on here. So if you look down the tail bar, the rudder bar down here, that's centre, centred at the back. And you can see, you know, that's, that's the centre. It's just off, to, I don't know, 15 degrees. The next one's, you know, pick, a, pick an angle. So they're all off centre and just whack jobs. So, you know, you can carry that kind of craftsmanship across the whole thing pretty much. At least the fuselage is not covered. Um, here's the lower wings in the centre section. Um, after seeing the, some of the stuff that's going on with this, I'm not trusting anything, so it's going to be stripped and recovered. You can see he's stitched the, the edges on here for some reason, and it's all just baggy. I don't even know what that stuff hanging out the bottom of the overhead viewing slots are but um, you know he's left Clico rivets in the thing um, it's you know the, the swaging on everything's just like a clothesline there's sharp and nasty bits so all that's coming off just the finish on things like the the bottom where the wing section cambers you know it's just a sharp edge here and then there's a hollow out to the end it hasn't been finished off there's no support in this whole section in here so anyway it's all coming off nothing seems to be bloody straight he's got little inspection ports here but you know they're not square and there's funny little add-ons and you can see here's a where he's gone along with the pinking shears but the whole thing you know if I follow my hand along it it's up and down it's you know it's not straight it should have been on the bottom so I was wondering whether or not to strip it, but there's no debate whatsoever. Again, there's more rusty Clecos left in things. You can see it. It's just totally full of bloody rodent shit and God knows what. So I've cleaned a lot of this off. You couldn't even see it. It was covered in cow manure. Everything's rusted. So that's all got to be done. The, the lower wings are, you know, that's them there. I don't, you know, nothing sort of, everything's sort of flopping around in the breeze and loose. So it's going to be a full rebuild on all of that. I've got stuff stored all over the house. So down the side, just outside here, I've got a lot of spare alloy tube that came with it. And there's piano hinges and all sorts of stuff hidden in there. So there's quite a bit of spare tube and I'm going to need it. And I've just stuck all this down the side of the house. There's the, uh, the bottom wings again. They're similar sort of same as the, the last ones, which is, you know, shonky and dodgy at best. You know, the covering's just all falling off and it was... It was done with the Stuart system, Dacron covering, so... He gave me some spare stuff of that for what, what it's worth. Um, it's all again been sitting around on the ground in moisture and... Like it didn't die of spider bites. Um, got a nice Culver prop, 80 by 47 or 49 from memory. I've cleaned the engine up a bit and turned it over a couple of times. I put that on a frame. He hasn't touched that, so that's a good thing. Probably got enough to deal with with that as it is. Um, I've got boxes full of all the stuff I've now, you know, I've sort of sorted it all out. The wheels again, I pulled the covers off. They were held on by all sorts of weird nuts and bolts. The spokes are all loose. So I had to cut, grind things to get them off because they were being welded on. You know, the spokes themselves are all shonky and quite a weird double lacing pattern. They're not triple over laced wheels, so I don't know what we'll do about those. Anyway, stuff's stored all over the joint at the moment, so I'm going to work my way through it. I've got boxes and boxes of stuff from Aircraft Spruce. Um, pretty much everywhere you walk around in the house now, there's a, you know, 
over the top of my workbench. My, I've got uh, the elevator sitting up there, but again, I'm not trusting a damn thing. There's nothing that he's put together that I'm not you know, gonna have a second look at. It's just stuck in the lounge room. We don't use the lounge room much. So there's the culver prop underneath that. There's all the struts that he's painted up in a wood grain pattern. Even painted things that are meant to be metal, like the undercarriage supports. He, he's painted them up as wood. I don't know what he thought he was doing. There's basically all the control surfaces. Um, again, that's all got to come off. Fuel tank sitting there. That's my son's room, and if he's moved out to uni, so I commandeered that to store the cowl in, and it had a, a nice series of concentric dings all over it. So anyway, I got my work cut out for me, um, and I'll sort of document the, the process in some form or fashion um, when we get on with the build. So there you go.